<clears throat> so speaking of living longer through social ties, did you guys ever see that Netflix documentary? I believe it's called A Hundred Ways. You want to pull it up on the screen? Yeah, uh, Live to 100. <laughs> the secrets oh, of this the... is the one about the blue zones, right? Exactly, yeah. yes. So it's, I believe it's a four-part series. Uh, there's four episodes, highly recommended. Basically, this guy, he goes to you know different communities across the world, which are known as blue zones. This is These are places who have the highest ratio of centenarians, basically people who live over 100. And so in doing so, he takes you know a lot of note-taking, and ultimately he finds a correlation of four major factors, one of them being the one we already talked about, which is just having strong social ties. A lot of basically out of these places, they all had strong connection-based communities. But there were some other interesting things. So one was purpose and faith, which I think ties kind of into community, right? Part of the community, mm-hmm. like if you have that weekly church session, mosque session, just having faith or just any purpose, I'm assuming like a community purpose, um, obviously eating wisely, right? They had better diets. They were not gluttonous and constant movement, not exercise, right? So not, you know, uh, ab workouts, but just <laughs> having a lifestyle where you're not just sitting on your chair right. to walk to your kitchen, to walk back to your chair. They were just living lifestyles where I have to get up from my, you know, my, my, not even sofa. They were sitting on, uh, what are those called? It was like cool chair, like them on the floor futons futons yeah like i gotta get up from my futon (laughs) and go get borrow some sugar from the lady next door who lives up the hill like that was their lifestyle (coughs) so they lived you know just by definition longer lives and uh have any of you guys ever been to a blue zone before knowingly no but i i really want to go i watched like part of the first episode of that series and I don't remember why I stopped, to be honest, because it was really interesting. Um, and all of the communities that he visited looked really, really pretty. Mm. And I remember I got really into one where he was they were they were looking at like the kind of um, produce that they can grow um, in their community. And it's not it's not like imported in. it's grown locally. Like, yeah, it's yeah. grown locally. That was one thing that I noticed. And there was one like rutabaga kind of type vegetable Mm -hmm. that they swore by i think this was a community in i want to say japan any of you guys have any centenarians in your families my wife's grandmother is conservatively speaking about 114 lives about 12 minutes away and this was very much the lifestyle no way a lot of lot of uh, movement a lot of um, large family and obviously um no eggs no meat oh really strictly interesting um no alcohol obviously and um Ate a uh, South Asian diet, lots of dolls and rice. And okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even rice, uh, whole wheat, uh, whole wheat roti. Mm. Okay. And um, yeah, and I mean, she's 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 been going strong. That's amazing, man. Or cool. uh, we don't know exactly how old she is, but nobody, yeah, that generation, <laughs> but, nobody um, had birthdays, right? She's conservatively about 114. Wow, that's amazing. You know yeah. what's really annoying though is I, I feel like what I see on social media is there's memes of like old women who are over a hundred or old men who are over a hundred and and they're asked what their secret is and they're like well i didn't have children and i drink every day <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's they make a smoke works. a pack of cigarettes <laughs> yeah and i smoke every day and i swear and do nothing but like that's what that's what gets likes and stuff that's but right that's, but that's not the reality you're just looking at yeah, genetic I lotteries can, i really hope it's not the yes, reality exactly yeah, yeah. there will always be genetic outliers yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. you're looking at these blue zones these are just like high ratios right so it's beyond yeah. just the lottery yeah i bet you I've, I've never seen this i've never seen this documentary and it sounds interesting but I, i'm curious to see like what type of technology they had in these communities or are they more so like growing their own food and living these off these the are like no, the picture nomadically there, exactly. there's no there's no Ex- you know exactly. yeah they have no tablets so we in um you know north america or the west we are um we're being taught to be lazy we're being taught everything needs to be convenient you want mm-hmm. something to eat you go buy it at the store you don't buy it you food. uber you yeah. uber you don't even go buy it anymore exactly mm-hmm. so here like i remember growing up um, in Jamaica, and I, I don't know how old, like some members of my my mom's family are, and they still live there, but they're they're pretty up there. I don't know if they're mm-hmm. like close to a hundred, but they still, you know, they have electricity, but they may not have running water, so mm-hmm. they have right. to walk to right. the community pipe yeah. Yeah. and go get the water, and they they live. Um, you know, they share whatever they have. This person grows this in their yard. Right. That person grows right. that in their yard. They're raising their own animals. 
they're getting fresh eggs from their chicken. Like this is how they live. And, and um, they don't live the big city life and they are living longer. When you look at like some of the, the men, because they're still working the land without any kind of uh, mechanical machines, yeah. they're muscular, yeah. but they're not working yeah. out. This is movement that we right. now say is exercise and do it for 20 minutes. But it's literally, if you look at what they're doing, it's what you do to, to farm, to, to it's, just it's just part an unconscious part of their society. Of it's their not something society. that they're planning to do. Exactly. They're just the way they live is exactly. that. Exactly. Well, well it might be conscious. I, f I feel like it could, I hope it's by choice too, because then that would mean that <laughs> I could have a chance at living <laughs> like this. No, the question is: well, the next question is the juice worth the squeeze? Life. Though, yeah. Yeah. would you guys give up the conveniences of life to to live longer? Like, is uh, the juice worth the squeeze to you? Like, yeah. you guys, if you watch this documentary, look at the blues ones. Ask yourself: Would I give up everything now? To be 115 years old, but live in that lifestyle. I wouldn't even factor in the age. I would just give everything up now. <laughs> like, I thought you love Toronto. Me some I thought you love Toronto. Yeah. I'll come visit. <laughs> give me some chickens and like some land. It's not just about duration. It's also about quality of life, right? Yeah. There's no sense living to be 115 exactly. if you're lying you're in a like... bed, half dead, and yeah. you're just hanging on to hang on. Yeah. Right. So, but it all centers around sedentary lifestyle, right? Everything yeah. that we're talking about here. Convenience in life now means we're sitting on our ass more and more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but then why Jobs that we it? do, we sit at a desk. Oh, mm -hmm. We don't we don't move around. Some of us who are are living on the wild side have desks that rise up and you can stand up and work. <laughs> no way. Right? So, so, that's so innovative. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's all around the sedentary lifestyle. To Keisha's point, I mean, you live down the islands. I grew up in uh, Trinidad, and you know, you're you're just constantly active. Mm. You're moving around. And a lot of that was we had less technology back yeah. then, yeah. Yeah. right? But yeah. fr from the family that I interact with down there, same problems they're dealing with now because of technology, mm. uh, whether it's in the Caribbean or here, I got you're you. sitting around right. watching TV or doing your social media and stuff. Ordering their Uber um, Eats. You know, I curse my dog many days, but I'll tell you what, during the winter, it's the only reason I come outside yes. now, yep. right? well, well, other than to clear the snow. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, with, right. this, with your snowblower. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I love a good shoveling of the snow. It's a good. Yeah, if, if it's if it's if it's Depends not on the type of snow. Yeah, if it's only a couple inches, then a good sh snow shovel is the way to go. But like I said, sedentary lifestyle is what's killing people. What's the yeah. what's the adage now? Uh, sedentary lifestyle is like smoking a pack yeah, of cigarettes yeah, a day. Yeah, I remember hearing that. I'm not surprised to hear that. Yeah. I'm not. And you know, if you you sit for six hours, seven hours a day. And then you think you're going to um, regain all the health benefits of an active lifestyle by hitting that treadmill for uh, 30 minutes and, and right. doing some weights. You may well, you're, you're certainly better off doing that than nothing at all. But I would say, you know, I haven't seen the, this, uh, this um, limited series, but just constant movement, constant activity would win out every day. I get it. It's a lifestyle, not an activity. Like exactly. Going to the gym is an activity. It's not a lifestyle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. it, it is interesting. I don't know. I, like, I got really got to think: is the juice worth the squeeze? But um, yeah, I, think it was pretty I, I bet you when you ask the people who live in that lifestyle manner, it definitely is. <laughs> yeah, but then you, let's bring them here and let them try in and out and let's see if they're like, what? Give them a this phone thing with like real whole I can order food; just comes to my house. Well, it's also about being influenced by your peer group too, right? They're in an environment where everybody's living the same kind of lifestyle. So it's easy to maintain that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You put them here with your in and out and you put them in in, in, a, in a family group in that yeah. setting. Well, guess what they're going to do eventually? Yeah. yeah. Is, is yeah. adopt that 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 lifestyle. Mm -hmm. right. I have one last point I want to ask. Is, I wonder if it's just me. I just feel, have you guys ever seen that TikTok trend about how often do you think of the Roman Empire? You guys ever seen that trend? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to ask you, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Actually, with the, uh, well... I don't want to get all political, but I, I think about it on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, I know. Z, how, many, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? No. <laughs> do you guys think about it at all? Um, no. no. Like, literally, that's the whole trend. I thought it's about like... it because like when Gladiator came out, I was like, that's a great movie. I feel still like a great movie. Still an incredible still movie. Still a classic. Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you do that walk? But you I haven't thought Napoleon. about it since. <laughs> but the, the trend is basically showing that guys think about it so often. But why am I bringing that up? There's actually a point to this thing, this TikTok trend. Oh, yeah. I have this thing that every guy, and now I'm going to find out girls, have this like utopia. Like, I feel like every guy has this idea of like, what the hell am I doing? Let me just pack my crap, go to a farm and just live life with my family, just raise the land and make food and just I have that thought live a good life. Right? <laughs> yeah. 
You guys ever had that? You never have that? You never had this utopia? You're like, what am I? Like, let me just move to a country where it's warm and yes. just raise a farm and just. Not you, a farm. you should watch uh, that Harrison Ford movie called Mosquito Coast. It'll uh, it'll it'll disabuse you of that. Uh, oh yeah, that oh. novel. That's gone. That's gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, it's just a utopia. Having I'm wondering like, is this it? You know, is it, wait, it actually what, my DNA? Is the telling Roman me, Empire your utopia? No, no, no that's okay. like hell. But okay. I'm just saying <laughs> this idea of like this thing that's a shared thing phenomenon <laughs> amongst men. I was wondering if this was a thing. Like maybe it's just my DNA. It's like, do you want to live to a hundred? Like I'm telling you what to do. You know, go move to a farm. Okay.